are going to be able to collaborate, bringing real coexistence among these two different ecosystems when you use office editing. And we're gonna show this to you in a three-part demo. We're gonna start with Laura working on an office file that she received from the sales team. Then we're gonna take you to Word and we're gonna see how an office user can still collaborate on that exact same file and doesn't have to worry about the fact that his collaborators are using docs. And then we're gonna come back to docs for a wrap up where you can see the same thing. The docs user is still using the tools that she knows, but it doesn't matter that her collaborators still use office. So to get it started, we're gonna to go to the first demo in docs. Can we switch to the Chromebook? So now what you see here is Laura, played by our friend Alex, has just gotten the start of the ballpoint pen brief as a Word file in Drive. Now she's gonna continue her normal workflow. She's gonna go ahead and open it up in Docs. But you're gonna notice something different this time. Rather than a converted separate file, you still see the .docx icon. Laura is still editing the same file. If she goes back to Drive, because she wants to see the two copies she just made, Nothing's changed, it's still just that same singular Word file. But she can continue her normal workflow. She can go ahead and add in a table. She'll set up the table for the marketing and the sales team to collaborate on the timeline of their launch. She's using the editor she's used to, making the changes that she'd normally do in a docs file, including using spell check and grammar, some of our great intelligence features. <laughs> And the awesome thing you'll see here is that as Laura's making these changes, she's not going to have to modify her process at all. She's used to collaborating with her team on docs. So she's gonna share in her marketing team, who's also used to using docs, and they're going to be able to join in and make changes with Laura real time on this Office file. So now you'll see a member of the marketing team join in and collaborate with Laura, before they're ready to send this file back to sales to finish it off. So you've just noticed Jonathan join in, real time collaborating with Laura on the same office file. And then once Jonathan's done, Laura can do what she'd normally do with any other member of her team who's used to using docs. She's gonna plus in Trevor from the sales team so that he can finish the part that's marked for sales. And even though she's plussing in Trevor in the doc, you'll see in the next demo, that Trevor is able to open this comment and see all of these changes in Word without modifying his workflow either. Now, if Laura wanted to add any other documents that are related to the ballpoint pen brief, she could go ahead and have Alex give us a recap of what we just saw. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter for Laura that the file's in a different file format. Different file format, same exact workflow. That's the kind of powerful new way of working that we want to deliver in G Suite. All right, so let's step back a little bit. We've seen Lara's workflow, and more generally, the marketing, the marketing team's workflow when they work in docs. But what about the other side? What about the sales team? We know they work in office. Um, so Trevor and the sales team, more generally, their workflow is navigate to Windows Explorer, find Dual File Stream, find their files locally on their machine, open them directly into Word, make their changes in Word, and then save their changes. The changes are then saved locally and then uploaded to Drive as a new version. That's their classic workflow. Well, because Lara's changes and more broadly the marketing team changes are all second demo. So now we're Trevor, as Luke, who is going to navigate to Drive File Stream and then navigate to the folder that contains the document. Double click it, which is gonna open in uh, Microsoft Word. As you can see, there was only one document. And then when he opens it in Word, all the changes are here. The changes made by all the collaborators in Docs. He can fill out the table as he's been instructed by Lara. He can also rep respond to the comment, telling her he's, uh, he's all done, the changes are in. And then after that, he'll be able to just save the file. Again, the changes will be saved locally by Drive File Stream and then uploaded uh, to the latest version in Drive. That's as simple as that. Can we switch back to the slides, please? All right, so once again here, we saw Trevor's workflow to respond in Office. He was able to access the file locally, only finding one single version in Drive with all the changes, including the changes made by Docs users, and he was able to reply to comments. Once again here, different collaborators, different tools that they would use, doesn't matter for Trevor. 
same exact workflow. Let's go to our final demo on the Chromebook. All right, so now we're back on Lara's machine, and uh, we see that there was still only one version in Drive. When Lara opened the file, she'll be able to scroll down and see all the changes, including the changes made by Trevor in Office and the comment he responded to. She'll be able to herself respond to the comment and resolve, and now she's done. If she wants to review the versions, as we've talked about, she can open the version history pane, see the original version uploaded by Trevor, see the changes made by herself when she added the table, and then by Jonathan when he um, filled in the table, and then finally the latest version uploaded by Trevor who contains the full table. Pretty powerful. Let's switch back to the presentation.